From listening to the DF crew talk about ray tracing, I gather that it is somewhat of an end game in terms of real-time lighting techniques. I wonder, is there anything that ray tracing fundamentally cannot do? The thing that comes to mind for me would be that ray tracing relies on the ray approximation of light, so it can't accu accurately simulate any effects that arise due to the wave nature of light. Diffraction gratings, question <laughs> mark? If it turns out we need to have accurate grating simulation in games, I petition we call that wave tracing. Now that's an E3 tech demo name. <laughs> uh, not sure if joking. I think this uh, is funny. Alex. I mean, yes, that is true, what, uh, what you're saying there. Uh, you won't get any of the wave particle physics uh, stuff. Uh, so what 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 does that mean? Uh, you know, like uh, it's the classic uh, uh, like uncertainty test thing where if you put like a grating in front of a, uh, a thing of light, if you look at it and observe the light going through, it'll go exactly through like you expect it to, going through like uh, uh, was it like one of the holes in this grating. Mm -hmm. But if you actually don't look at it, the uncertainty principle makes it act like a waveform. Instead, and you'll actually see like this diffused look of light on the the back grating of the the thing that the light went through. I forget the name of the experiment, Audi. I'm going to send you a Wikipedia article, and you put the name <laughs> of the experiment. Uh, but basically, light is a wave versus light is a particle. That's what the the thing that he's talking about. So it won't capture that stuff. But that stuff's super rare, and humans rarely uh, see that on a macro form anyway. But the thing that ray tracing cannot do so well. Uh, because it is just so uh, expensive, uh, is usually a lot of um, heavy refraction, heavy uh, like caustic light stuff. Uh, it, yeah, caustic. So if you uh, like uh, have like three rows of glass and have the light go through it each time, that's so expensive with ray tracing to do. And the result you may get re may require so many rays that it is completely not possible in real time, maybe not even possible on offline. So they use other techniques there, uh, like photon mapping, which is different. Um, and that gives them approximations of those uh, effects in a better manner. And I don't think it maps at all to hardware. Um, so there are some other aspects of lighting that are not so easy to do with ray tracing just because they're so... There's so many layers to them, uh, essentially, yeah. I think the point here, though, is that we're just at the beginning of real-time ray tracing in terms of what's feasible, and the path is long. Uh, there are many things that we that we will see in the future, I think, as hardware becomes more capable, so uh, including more path tracing in general. Well, just one last thing to mention about this. There are, like, for example, uh, the lighting and tracing and all these things for things that aren't solid media is also not very mappable to the current hardware in a good way. Uh, so that's one area we're going to see like particles or part of any sort of volume in general being lit uh, is also going to be something that's going to take a long time to do really well with ray trace like techniques.